Have you ever had an employee resign? It can blindside a smoothly running team and leave leaders feeling hurt or even betrayed. Even if the employee resigning is someone who is particularly reliable or someone you especially trusted. The truth is, no employee is irreplaceable. Take a look at everyone left of your team and see if there is anyone eager for more responsibility or who has the skills needed for the job. A team member resigning can be shocking, but this is a good opportunity to reevaluate how your team is organized and even hire a replacement. Today we'll be discussing what you should do when an employee resigns. I'm Raid here with JotForm. Let's get into it. You should start by assessing your team immediately. First, figure out whether you really need to replace this employee. Is there a way that you could redistribute the work the departing employee did? Rather than hiring a new person, would it make more sense for you to give raises or offer bonuses to your team for taking on the departing employee's work? This could be a good solution for the company and employees. And it's worth exploring, even if you conclude that you do need to hire a replacement. Deciding to hire a new employee is a big decision to make. This could be your chance to make an offer to a competitor star salesperson or to further diversify your team. You have to be strategic about potential new hires. Most companies are continuously recruiting by welcoming resumes and participating in job fairs and career day activities. These are the companies that are best prepared to quickly and confidently fill an unexpected opening. Next, have your HR process ready to go. When hiring talented people, it's inevitable that at least some will eventually leave for other opportunities. Remember not to take it personally and be prepared for when it happens. You have to properly process the departing employee's termination to avoid coming across any legal problems. Make sure that the departing employee submitted a signed and dated resignation letter communicating that they are voluntarily terminating their employment, as well as reasons for doing so. If an employee doesn't state their reasons for leaving, then they might be positioning themselves to claim constructive discharge. This is when an employer makes the job conditions intolerable to compel a person to quit. This then qualifies the employee for unemployment insurance payments or for a lawsuit. Make sure that the employee is clear about why they are leaving and that they aren't claiming any discrimination or alleging the workplace as hostile environment. You should also confirm that you received the resignation letter. You can utilize the job form resignation confirmation letter template as a good starting point for your letter. Then we have the final paycheck and cashing out benefits for your employee. The final paycheck is usually much larger than a normal paycheck, as it can include 401k and IRA money, bonuses, commissions, expenses, loans, and accrued vacation and leave days. The deadline for making the final payment to a departing employee will depend on your state. California law requires payment within 42 hours of receiving notice from the employee. For Colorado, New York, and Texas, they mandate payment no later than the next regular payday. Your legal department should consult with HR to keep everything within the law. And finally, make sure that they depart on good terms. When you think about your brand, it's natural to think about how your customers perceive your company and its services or products. But remember, you also have an employer brand. There is a lot of competition for critical talent, so you need to make sure that your employer brand is on point. Treat your departing employees with kindness and respect, regardless if their resignation stung or if you're secretly glad to see them go. Treating a departing employee well is an opportunity. Ask them how they want to break the news to the team. You can also hold an exit interview, which is a great opportunity for you to collect their laptop, keys to the office, and any other company property they may have. Talk to them about why they're leaving. It could be for a better offer, they could be moving away, or maybe making changes in their home life. Whatever they tell you will give you insight into your company from the employee perspective. If your employee is leaving for more money, resist the urge to counter offer. That money is better invested on incentives for your remaining team when reallocating the work left behind by the departing employee. You could even throw a going away party. This is an opportunity to graciously thank the departing employee for their work while also doing something nice for the remaining team members. 
In order to limit the disruption when employees resign, you'll need a sound HR plan for the employee's departure as well as a good pool of potential job candidates. Okay, let's review. When an employee resigns, begin assessing their resignation immediately. Have an HR process ready to go so that your employee can smoothly leave without causing any drama. Be sure to give them their final paycheck and benefits as soon as possible. Take the time to hold an exit interview and depart with them on good terms. How an employee feels when they leave will heavily affect your employer brand. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Raid here with Jotform. Have a good one. Thank you.